welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are taking care of yourselves and staying safe, staying inside. I'll be doing a little chit chat, just talking with you guys about some of my favorite products that I've been using. Basically the products that I keep on my desk and around me at all times because I'm obsessed with them. Um, and this is gonna serve as your favorites. I was gonna do like a favorites where I sit down and just talk, but then I figured I might as well do a favorites video where I talk about the products that are actually my favorites and then use them in action so you guys can see a full face. This video is actually in partnership though with Pharmacy and I wanted to talk about Pharmacy in this video because I was able to work with them to try a new product and I love when brands ask me to do this because it makes me feel so exclusive. I've always loved Pharmacy's uh, Green Clean Cleansing Balm and so they reached out to me and were like we love that you love the cleansing balm. If you love the cleansing balm you're gonna love this product that we're coming out with. So they gave me a little tester sample size of this new product that we are going to be talking about today. And as you can see, she's pretty much empty. This is the Pharmacy Daily Greens Oil Free Gel Moisturizer. It retails for $38 and it will be available on Sephora.com on April 15th. So you can purchase it there and you also can purchase it on the pharmacy website, but I know most of y'all are probably Sephora kids. So, you know, there you go. Which is great because Sephora has a sale coming up. So boom, bam, there you go. This is what it looks like. It's just a green moisturizer. Very, very similar. It's the same color as the daily, uh, as the green clean cleansing balm. And it also contains very similar ingredients. Um, so it is oil free and silicone free. It's very lightweight, um, which I'll talk about in a second when I put it on. It has moringa and papaya in it, um, which are the same key ingredients in the cleansing balm. The moringa has antioxidants, which helps your skin with pollution to fight pollution. Papaya has natural enzyme and AHAs in it, which is perfect for me, because y'all know I love products with AHAs. I don't think I ever talk about my skin without talking about AHAs but I'm obsessed. I love any product that's going to help, you know, that soil turnover rate so it can brighten and get rid of those dark marks and things like that. So this product is going to aid in the resurfacing of your skin. It's gonna gently exfoliate. For me, when I'm moving into like the warmer months, it is a lot warmer outside now. Um, so I do not need a heavy cream to wear during the day. And so moisturizers like this are perfect because it's lightweight and it's going to help balance that oil in my skin. It hydrates, it has hyaluronic acid, so it does hydrate and moisturize your skin very well. It also helps to balance and regulate your oil production um, and unclog your skin if your skin gets congested easily. If you have oily skin, your skin probably does clog easily because you get excess oil. The greens in it, because it is called Daily Greens, is um, cucumber, kale, and eucalyptus, which helps to cool and calm any inflammation in your skin. So if you have acne prone skin or easily irritated skin, skin that gets red easily, this is gonna be perfect for you. Because I'm missing, two of my nails I can do so much with these fingers uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna use this to scoop I've been using it as my scooper okay I love having this missing nail as much as I hate how ratchet my hands look I don't mind because I can actually do things with these fingers okay we're gonna go ahead and put this on and as you can see it's very lightweight but it's moisturizing my skin very well I love the way this moisturizer feels I like moisturizers in general I used to be the girl who did not moisturize her skin because I had oily skin and I was like so anti-moisturizing because I was scared that it was making my skin more oily. But in fact, it's the opposite. So like I've always said, if you have oily skin and you're not moisturizing your face, you're doing yourself a disservice. You are making your skin even more oily because you're not treating your skin with the proper love and respect and honor that it needs. But I just love to massage my skin, especially because I don't have much else to do these days. I have plenty of time to be extra and baby my skin. And I love to just massage this moisturizer into my skin. It feels very lightweight. Like I said, it's not heavy or thick at all. If you don't like thick creams, heavy creams as moisturizers, this is going to be good for you because you're going to love how lightweight this is and it does have a very cooling feel to it if you really want to cool down and the weather is like warm where you are and you want to cool down pop this in the fridge get your little skincare fridge and put it in there and then when you do your makeup you can pop it out and put it on your skin it's gonna feel really really good so if you are looking for a new moisturizer to try or if you just love trying new products or if you love pharmacy and you want to test it out um, this is a great moisturizer I'm so happy that I'm 
like able to try it to let you guys know that I like it uh, before it comes out. So that's cool. Um, and shout out to Pharmacy for allowing me to try the product. All right, let's take a sip of water. So moving on, I'm gonna do primer. Um, and we're just gonna talk about our favorites at the moment. This primer right here, and this is like a low end primer. This is the Stay Matte Primer by Rimmel. And I've been loving this primer for the past couple months. And I only really use it in my T-zone area where I get oily um, because I do like for my skin to have a nice glow, you know? Um, but I do like to put this right here in the T-zone where I tend to get a little more oily and shiny. And another thing that I love about that moisturizer that I just use is it layers nicely. It doesn't feel heavy so I can put products on top of it and it allows for my skin to breathe. I love, yeah, so I love that primer. I also love the, um, the Fenty primer as well. I'm gonna add a little bit of that as well. This is the True Matte Primer, which is very interesting because the True Matte Primer is better than the Soft Matte, but the Soft Matte feels more matte when you put it on. This one doesn't feel as matte. I'm just gonna pat that in my skin. It doesn't feel as matte as a soft matte, but I don't know. I like this one better for some reason. So for foundations, I really don't have like one favorite. Y'all know this about me. Um, but I have been loving the Beauty Bakery Insta Bake Foundation. And I've also loved the Stay Naked by Urban Decay. I've been loving this one for the past couple months as well. They're both very lightweight but they also both provide very good coverage. I'm going to mix both of them because this one is a little too warm for me right now. I lost my tan that I got because I haven't really been outside, but it's okay. And this one is more neutral. So I like both of them. I prefer the neutral um, on days where I don't really want to wear a whole lot of makeup because obviously it's going to blend into my skin a little bit better, if you will. And I'm just gonna, actually I actually think I put too much on brush but I'm just gonna blend them in and this brush is from Alamar Cosmetics I got these in a boxy charm box but yeah these these foundations are not mattifying at all so um so just a heads up but I feel like they're really nice foundations I love a good radiant natural finish foundation I'm not too keen on you know looking super matte these days I don't know why I just am not so this makeup look isn't gonna be any different than the other makeup looks that I ever do on my channel y'all know this I am not super adventurous when it comes to my face anymore just because there was a period in my life where I did a lot of makeup like all the time and I was wearing makeup a lot and doing different things and wearing all these different color lipsticks and that's not me anymore you know I'm just I'm 28. I started doing makeup and playing in makeup when I was 18 and I started filming myself doing it when I was like 19. So I've basically been doing this for 10 years and I am not the same Vicky that I was when I was 18. So um, me doing all of that crazy makeup and stuff is just not me anymore. I don't... Next up is my new favorite concealer. I am in love with this concealer ever since I saw Amreezy, I think I saw Amreezy use this on her Instagram one day. I love Hourglass, but I didn't know how much I was gonna love this concealer. This is the Vanish Concealer in the color Flax. This applicator, like when I tell you, I don't have to double dip because I can get so much product out of this just one little applicator. Like it just keeps going, look at this. Like I have so much product. Like usually I would have to, you know, double dip and like keep swiping, but this has, it's just so creamy. I don't know, I just love everything about it. Got my sponge wet. You guys know I love the Your Lash Bar sponges, absolute faves. Um, I don't use any other sponge these days, just this one. And I'm just gonna use that to blend out my conceal. And while we blend out, we can talk a little bit. It's just been a really weird time these days, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to be, positive and productive um you know just the other day I sat down and I was just like I'm gonna plan out my content I'm gonna try to be you know more productive with my time 
my like my job and stuff isn't different what i have to do every day isn't really different but what's different is just having my husband home all the time having him here is weird because i'm used to working in an environment where nobody's here um and nobody's in my space so to have him here while i'm trying to get stuff done is actually kind of irritating i love him but um when I need to get things done, I ask him to leave the house. So I told him to like go. So he left the house. He went to go like on a drive or something. I don't know where he went. I think he's like at the park chipping in the green or something. I don't, I don't really know. You know, I'm just trying to stay sane in the midst of all of this. I think we all are. Um, but I'm giving myself time and grace. I, I've been so frustrated with everything. Like my hair, my face, just I feel so ugly. My nails are gone. My eyelashes are gone. My hair looks a mess. I mean, my hair looks better because I did wash it and attempted to straighten it. It's very fluffy. So, like, you guys, you guys know, normally my hair is a lot straighter than this, but it's very fluffy. So, I mean, y'all probably gonna be like, ah, it's cute. Leave it alone, Biggie. It's not cute to me. I don't feel myself. So, I'm trying to figure out my next um, style. So, you guys, let me know what my next uh protective style should be i'm debating between getting braids again or getting faux locks again so we'll see which one i just like to do i've been loving this tart powder too because it's very like neutral and it doesn't leave like a because what i've noticed about using um that fenty beauty powder it's not that i don't like the powder it's that the color is a little too yellow for my skin tone right now, my skin tone is a little bit more neutral these days. I don't know why. I think it's because I haven't really developed my summer, my summer bronze, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I definitely have to use something that's a little more on the translucent side and I love this Tarte powder for that. And then I like to go in with the Fenty and just do a little dollop on top of that just to add a little bit of warmth I could just mix them together but this is fine press I'm not going to like sweep off any excess product or anything I'm just gonna like press everything in I've also really been loving this little all-nighter setting powder I typically use this when I'm not wearing any makeup and I want to just get a overall set but I love this it's very very translucent I'm actually gonna take some of that and put it through my eyebrows just so my eyebrows don't get shiny another product from Urban Decay I've been loving a lot of Urban Decay lately um I love this powder first of all I love the packaging super super cute um, this powder is 70WY from the Stay Naked collection and this is just their foundation powder. This brush this is by It Cosmetics, this is It Cosmetics brush. And I'm just gonna press that into the skin just in the areas where I didn't highlight. Oh, I forgot to contour! But honestly, I don't really need a contour. I like to contour just out of habit. I really don't have to contour. But, I mean, you know, doing the whole beat, it just, you gotta do the whole beat. If you're gonna, if you're gonna commit, you gotta commit. Um, this is one of those powders that I use every single day. Well, not every single day. Every single time I do my makeup. And, well, obviously, because this is a favorites video. Duh, Vicky. It's a very beautiful finish. I love the finish of the powder. It does give a nice, like, matte appearance, but it doesn't leave you feeling super dry and matte. If you, we're just gonna use a bronze, um, just to bronze our face. Uh, my favorite bronzers are Fenty Beauty, Coco Nani, and Anastasia Beverly Hills Mahogany. I cannot get away from this one though. This is my all time fave. As you can see, I've hit pan on it. Finally hit pan, like I've had it for a long time. So the fact that I'm just now hitting pan just lets you know how much product is in there, okay? And we're just gonna lightly dust this bronzer in our cheekbone area. We're just gonna do a soft bronze today. We don't necessarily need a heavy bronze, you know? I'm gonna do a little bit on the forehead too. And I'm gonna do a little bit down the bridge of the nose, the sides. We're done pretty much with the complexion. Gonna go on to eyebrows. Lately, my brows have been trash, but it's okay. Blame it on the quarantine. I, like, they're so thick. Like, my eyebrows are never usually this thick towards the end but I have not had my brows done since February so it's
it's been a hot minute. We're just gonna fill in the brows where we normally would have the arch placement uh, and then leave the other hairs just kind of chilling. Um, the less attention you draw to them, the less people will notice how bushy they are. This brow pencil is Hourglass. I love this brow pencil. I used to use it all the time and then I stopped using it for a while um, because I ran out. And then I thought about her again when I was, after I dyed my hair and I was like, I need a nice auburn pencil that's just really easy to use. I love ColourPop's brow pencils too, but what I really love about this brow pencil is that it goes on easier and quicker because of the thickness of the actual pencil. Um, and then I also just love the formula. Normally brow pencils, like, sometimes they can be a little chalky, sometimes they can be a little too stiff. They don't really come off super pigmented, if you will. Um, but this one, my friends, is very pigmented. I love her. Um, highly, highly, highly recommend it. It is a little pricey, but I think it's worth it if you are into brows like I am. This is the color Auburn. And I do Auburn because my hair is an Auburn color. Even though my roots are dark, so I could get away with having dark eyebrows, I prefer for my brows to match the redness in my hair. I do like to take a little bit of, you know, regular dark brown, and this is the color pop pencil that I'm talking that I was talking about. Um, and just go through and just kind of feather it in because like I said my roots are dark obviously so it would make sense that my eyebrows kind of like reflect the change that my hair is going through take a sip of water so many people were asking me about this eyeshadow the last time I wore it so I figured I'd mention it again this is my favorite eyeshadow of all time this is from the Desi Katie Dose of Colors Frankation. And um, this color right here is called Just a Kiss. And I believe it's called that because it's like just a kiss of gold. It's really not even a color. It's mostly just glitter. And I just like to press that with my finger all over my lid. And the light, when it hits it, it just reflects so pretty. Um, so I just like to put that on my lid. It's just a light glitter. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the crease color out of this palette, and I'm just gonna blend that into my crease area, just to blend out that glitter. Um, but nothing fancy. The last thing I'm going to do to my face is highlight. And I'm gonna do um, a little bit of Trophy Wife. This is my all-time favorite highlighter. Um, it's not necessarily, mm, I won't say it's my favorite highlighter. It's, it's one of my favorites. But I think for this look that I just did with the gold glitter on my lids, this will look really good with the rest of the look. So I'm just gonna dab that on there. Just gonna highlight on my cheeks and back. I want a very subtle highlight. I haven't really been liking to do like a really heavy highlight these days. Trophy Wife tends to get a lot more play when I'm on vacation. Um, I wear it all over my body when I go on vacation. And then I'm also going to take a little bit of the Desi Katie um, Chasing the Sun highlight. This is another one of my all-time faves. I'm just going to put that on top. Trophy Wife does have a very yellowish undertone. But I'm wearing yellow leggings. So I feel like... I cannot lift my leg up. I am not flexible. I'm wearing yellow leggings. And my favorite mascara is Milk Makeup's Kush Mascara. If you don't know, now you know. This is a really bomb mascara. I actually, there's others that I like more than this one. I just don't have them because I'm out of them. But honorary mention, Pat McGrath's Fetish Eyes Mascara is absolutely amazing. I don't think I'm gonna wear a lash today. I don't think I want to wear a lash. I think I'm just gonna do mascara and call it a day. I still have one lash extension that is hanging on for, well two, one, two, that are hanging on for dear life. And I just want them to exit stage left because at this point, you don't, I don't need y'all no more. Like my real lashes is popping. So what are y'all doing here? How did you get here? To the bus. Mascara is on. I've got my mascara on. Uh, 
Cameron's phone, I'm using his phone as a like viewfinder for this camera and it is, he has so many friends. And then I also, I have another favorite mascara. This one is specifically for my bottom lashes and I only use it for bottom lashes. This is the Rimmel London Lash Accelerator. I feel like the because the wand is so skinny, it's very easy for me to get those bottom lashes. So um, next I'm going to just do some lips. So I'm going to take a lip liner. This one is Hover. I typically do cork or hover if I'm going for a more like um, mauvey, rosy look. I need a little bit of lip balm though. This is feeling real dry. This is the Agave by Bite Beauty Agave Lip Balm. One of my favorite lipsticks, it's um, Pixi by Petra, and I don't know what the name of this is because it says Bare Beauty on here, but I don't think that's the name of the color. I'm not sure. Got it from Target though. Um, and I love this. It's just a very nice nude, and it's like one of the ones I grab for all the time. So, I also really love the um, MAC Grand Illusion glosses. I love these. I have so many colors of these, like, and I just love all the different colors that they have. These are like the best glosses ever because they're glossy, but they have a very strong pigmentation and they don't move. Like the color doesn't go anywhere. Goldilocks. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that to my lip. And it's gonna give a nice, nude goldish nudish some like if you want if you want a gloss that isn't like clear or sheer but it has like a metallic -y finish to it stays glossy for a long time these great illusions are bomb um i don't really have a favorite like setting spray right now um the beauty bakery sweet icing baking spray <laughs> amazing um the tarte stay spray is really good too um also love urban decay's all nighter um so those are just a couple that i really like i don't necessarily have an all-time favorite that just like stands out as far as like setting goes but i just feel like this one gives me a nice set it leaves my skin breathable still like it doesn't feel like because you know sometimes you use a setting spray and it makes your face feel hard that is all for this makeup look. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something new about some of the products that I've talked about in this video. Um, as far as like my favorites go, these are all the products that I've really been loving for the past couple months now. Um, like I said, I don't really vary with my products these days. I kind of stick to what I know. And until I run out of it, I won't be getting anything new because I'm trying to just cut back on how much makeup I have. I recently got rid of four trash bags full of makeup. Uh, that it was just chilling in my room and I wasn't using it. So I'm trying to do better about using products that I really love. These are the ones that I tend to grab for the most. Um, so yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys. And also, if you guys want to check out the new Pharmacy Daily Greens Moisturizer, be sure to do so. Link will be in the description box to where you can find it. Obviously, it's on Sephora and Pharmacy, but the link will be there for your convenience. Um, it is available April 15th, so I hope that you guys go and check it out. Definitely suggest it. Highly recommend for oily skin. Um, it's the business. So I hope that you guys are staying safe and staying at home, washing your hands. And I will talk to you guys in my next video, all right?